residents are shifting to the suburbia life in 2023. So people are thinking large for 2023. And according to experts, more families are laying their foundations in Dubai and looking to expand their family further. Subsequently, this means an increase in demand for townhouses and for the communities from traditional city apartments. So properties in the newly developed areas are what's on everybody's mind now and the prices are not looking too cute and the property prices are rising too well above what it once was pre-pandemic days. This also means that new developments will offer more choice on the market but to expect demand to continue outstrip supply in 2023. So a lot of uh, interesting developments on the property front. For sure. Yeah. <laughs> I love how you said that. A lot of because developments. Like, what? It stresses me out just thinking about like everything that's happening in the property front because yeah. you know, like, you know, all with all of these uh, motivational things you see on social media, it's like you should invest in <laughs> property, safeguard your future, this, that, this, that, this, that. And then at the same time, it's like you don't know if you should wait a little while longer, if you should do it now. It's just like the timings and then things coming up, developments coming up and all those yeah. things. Well, on. on a global scale, millennials are not buying as much as the previous generation has. Makes sense. And our generation, I can't believe we're stripped of the other half. <laughs> our generation, we're still growing up, you know. So there is this massive shift on a global scale with yeah. people not buying as much. That's obviously changing with families growing at the moment and mm. regionally, locally, Dubai specifically. Mm. Um, but in general, it's not something that's often considered within the millennials environment, you know? Right now, yeah, exactly. That being said, you have one side saying invest in property, the other side saying, is it worth it? Oh, yeah, yeah. So it's just trying to figure out what works for you. It, very true, very true. And um, it's a long-term commitment. That's a frightening part. That is a problem. And like we know, millennials, oh, Gen yeah. Zs are not down for the long-term long term. Live in the moment. YOLO, as the kids say, <laughs> you know, that's the thing, like, it, it is based on your lifestyle, what are your ambitions, aspirations, and yeah. 10, 20, 50 year plan, you know? But what I keep hearing from people is that you find a way to live in the moment as you safeguard your future, because you just don't know what's going to happen in the future, and at the same time, you don't want to be working yeah. forever, you want a source of income that's not just your job, yeah. but there's the problem, like, to have a source of income that's not just your job, you need to have... Like, a good amount of income <laughs> right now yeah. at this very moment to invest in something to save. And it's just like a cycle. And if the first part is like off, like the whole thing. Is yeah, off. literally, it's just a domino effect of unfortunate events. <laughs> it is hard. Like, considering yeah. the big stuff in life, like mortgages, properties, like what yeah. is your 5, 10, 20 year plan? It's a lot to figure out. Like, I don't want to talk about it. I kind of want to it move on to the... You out, right? <laughs> I'm getting stressed as I speak. I know. I feel like acne coming up on my face every time I just like even think about investments. I'm sweating. It's sweating. Yeah. <laughs> I can smell it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Just kidding. 